Hi, today we are going to study merge sort followed by example and algorithm and working of the same. Then we will see how to analyze merge sort algorithm. Merge sort is basically divide and conquer technique to sort and list elements. In divide, as we know, divide and conquer technique works in a three stage: divide stage, conquer stage, and combine stage. In a divide stage, we partition a list or array elements into two equal parts, each of roughly size n by 2. In conquer stage, we keep on subdividing the an array recursively unless and until each sublist contains minimum one element. As soon as every sublist contains only one element, we combine these lists in a sorted manner. So in a merge sort, division is dividing the list of n elements into n by 2 size each and sorting takes place in a combined stage. So basically there are two stages, divide and combine. Let us see how it works. Say for example, these are the element array list in which elements are given. We divide these elements into two sublists, each of size n by 2. Now as you can see, there are odd number of elements. So one more element will be over the left hand side sublist and n by 2 elements will be over the right hand side sublist. Again, these lists are keep on divided into two halves each of size n by 4. So four elements are getting divided into two sublists each contains two elements. A sublist which contains three elements is divided into two elements, two sublists, one contains two elements and another contains one element. Now if any sublist contains one element we cannot further divide it so only those Sublist which contains more than one element will get divided. So likewise, they are again getting divided. And at this stage, each and every sublist is containing at least one element in it. And not more than one element inside it. So what we will do? Now we will do combined stage. In a combined stage, we try to combine two sublists in a sorted manner. So any two sublists are combined to make a larger sublist. Similarly, next to so two sublists are combined to take another larger sublist. And this process is keep repeated unless and until the original two sublists are combined to make our original sublist of n elements. So likewise, after combining all these sublists, we generate our original list which is already in sorted manner. Now, let us see an algorithm for mod sort. An algorithm for mod sort takes an input and array A from index 0 to n minus 1. As well as, it also takes starting and ending index of elements that is low and high respectively. Now merge sort will first check whether list contains minimum one element or not. So if list contains more than one element or an exactly one element, my low index must be lesser than or is equal to high. But if low is, is equal to high index, the elements in the list is only 1. But if low index is lesser than high index, that means list contains more than one element in it. And only in that case, we need to divide a list into two halves. Otherwise, we need not to divide them. So to check whether list contains more than one element in it, we evaluate the condition low index is less than high index. If that is the case, we have to find out mid index of an array list. So mid index is calculated as low plus high divided by 2. 
So in this case, mid will be calculated and we will call or apply merge sort recursively over two different sublists. One sublist is generated from low index to mid index and another sublist will be generated from mid plus one to high index. So merge sort will next in next line we will call merge sort recursively by passing the same array k, but now indices are from low to mid as my left sub array list. And merge sort is also applied towards the right hand side sub array list, which is also applied over k, but indices are mid plus one to high. So this way, or we have called merge sort twice over two different sublists of original list A. Now there is a next step is to combine these two sublists. Now in order to combine these two sublists, we make a call to combine algorithm which take input array A as well as three indices like Starting of the index that is low, middle of index that is mid, and ending of array list that is, is equal to high. We will see in detail how this combined algorithm works. But for algorithm mode sort, it make recursive call to itself twice, one for low to mid and another one from mid to high. And it also runs or calls combined algorithm. Let us see how combined algorithm will work and let us understand with the help of one example. Let us suppose we have two sublists, left subarray which is already sorted and right subarray which is already sorted. And we need to merge them into one sorted list. So how it would work? For this we would create a new auxiliary space which is of the size is equal to the size of left subarray plus size of right subarray. So the combined array space or temporary auxiliary space is reserved. Now we will initialize some indices. Left subarray initial index is i, right subarray initial index is j and temporary array initial index is k. What we will do, we need to create this new array must, which, is, which must be sorted which is a combination of original two sublist. So we will compare an element at i with element at j. Whichever is the smaller will come in the new space and we will increment its index by 1. Again we will compare any two elements. If one or whatever element is lower will be copied to new auxiliary space and its index will be incremented. And we keep on comparing unless and until all the elements are copied into the new array element. So let us see how it works. Initially i index is pointing to element 10, j index is showing an element for 20. So out of 10 and 20, the least element or the minimum element must get copied into k, which is actually j index element. So out of 10 and 20, 10 will be copied. If A of I is lesser than A of J, in that case, we will copy A of I into temp of K because this temporary array element is having index K. And we will also increment our index I as well as index K. So that the next element which is lesser will be now at the new location in a temporary array. In this case, 10 will be copied and ki will be incremented as well as k will be also incremented. Again, we will compare element at i with element at j. If a of i is lesser than a of j, 30 is lesser than 20. Condition is false. So, in this case, that is in else part where a of i is actually greater than a of j, we have to copy j element into k. So that's why we will write temp of k is equal to a of j. Element at j will be copied inside temp of k. In this case 20 and then we have to increment j and k. So in this case 20 will get copied, j will be incremented and k will be incremented. Again we will keep on repeating this process. Element at i is 30, element at j is 50, is 30 less than 50, 
Yes, in that case we will copy 30. We will increment i and k in this case. So 30 will be copied, i will be incremented and k will be incremented. Again, 40 and 50 will be compared. 40 is lesser, so elemented i will come here. J will be in its place, only i will be incremented. So, i is now incremented. Now, elemented i is 70 and elemented j is 50. Is 70 lesser than 50? Condition is false. So, in this case, elemented j must get copied in temp of k. So, 50 will get copied, j will be incremented and k also will get incremented. So, after j is incremented, next element is 60. So, 70 is compared with 60. 60 is lesser, so 60 will get copied and j will be incremented. So, in this case, 60 is copied, j is also incremented as well as k is also incremented. Now, 70, is it lesser than 80? Answer is yes. If 70 is lesser than 80, 70 will get copied and only i will be incremented. So, 70 is getting copied and i is incremented. Now, if you observe carefully, i is pointing to an index which is not part of my left sub array. That means my i is out of bound. Now, at this location, I have to copy remaining element of the another sub array. Right sub array's remaining element is only one, that is 80. It must get copied. So, after this step, we will copy all the remaining elements of another sub array. So, this is how basically your combined algorithm works. Now, let us see into detail step by step combined algorithm. So, first combined algorithm will take an input A, low, mid and high index. We initialize K as our starting or low index. We initialize I is also our low index because it is the fast starting of first left sub array list. J is initialized as starting of right sub array list. So, right sub array will start from mid plus 1 location. So, mid plus 1 is stored inside index J. Now, when less than until I is less than mid, that means I is actually inside left sub array. Left sub array is from a low to mid. So, as soon as it is started from low, but it is Pointing up to mid, we are currently inside left sub array. And j is starting from mid plus 1, but as soon as it is working up to high index, we are working for correct array. So, in this case, unless and until, or I must say why, i is less than or is equal to mid, and j is also less than or is equal to high, we have to compare element that i is lesser than element that j. In this case, if condition is true, we will copy A of i into temp of k. We will increment i as well as increment k. If this condition is not true, that means A of j is greater than A of i. In that case, we will copy A of j into temp of k. We will increment j as well as we will increment k. So, this is the condition unless and until i is within the left sub array and j is also within the sub array. But after the ending of this loop, we don't know whether i has gone out of bound or j index has gone out of bound. So, we will make another loop for i index to check whether it is lesser than mid, lesser than or is equal to mid. If that is the condition, we must copy remaining elements of left sub array into our temp. That's why we write a of i is stored inside temp of k, i is incremented and k is also incremented. This is the copying the remaining elements from left sub array. But if already it has been copied, this condition will be false and no loop will be executed instead. So, we must check for right side sub array also. It might happen that the remaining elements from right sub array list needs to copy the inside temp. So, inside this, what we will do? We will check whether j is lesser than or is equal to high. If that is the case, in that case, temp of k is copied inside a of a of j is copied inside temp of k, j is incremented and k is also incremented. 
at the end we have an array temp which is containing combined sold solution sorted manner. So we must return this particular temp array to as a combined or sorted merged list. So this is the end of algorithm. Now let us analyze merge sort. In merge sort, if list contains only one element, that means to sort an list with only one element, we require only one step. But if list contains more than one element, we need to divide that list into two equal parts. That is t of n is equal to 2t of n by 2. In this merging step of these two different sublists would require n steps because n by 2 elements are combined with n by 2 elements to generate list of n elements. T of n is equal to 2t of n by 2 plus n. First component 2t of n by 2 is dividing n element list into 2 n by 2 list. And second component n is merging 2 n by 2 list into 1 n element list. So this is our recurrence equation and this case initial condition is given as T of 1 is equal to 1. So, using master method, obviously we can directly solve this equation or either we can use any substitution method, but this recurrence would be easier to solve with the help of master method. So, we will apply master method. Master method says we have to find out components A, B, and D. A is 2. Because equation is compared with a into t of n by b plus theta n raised to b. So a is in this case is 2, b is also 2 and b is the power of n which is, is equal to 1 in our case. So we have to compare a with b raised to d. 2 is compared with 2 raised to 1. They are equal. So, we will apply second case of master theorem where a is equal to b raised to b. Our final complexity will be big O of or theta of n raised to d log of n. So, here we will have complexity as t of n is equal to big O of n raised to 1 that is n into log of n to the base Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Monira Dobia signing out.